sir. Yes, sir. We back at it again, man. <laughs> man, I heard you had something new for me this time, man. Yeah, I got Misty for you. We had Just Love Coffee, so we're going to bring you some food this time. Yes, sir. You know, I just got done burning, so it's going to be all right with me. <laughs> yes, sir. What right. we got here, Misty? Well, I brought you the Jive Turkey Wrap, one of uh, Just Love's favorites. So you have a uh, jalapeno cream cheese on the inside, mm. turkey, bacon, provolone cheese, and spinach. <laughs> right, well, let me go on and get on there. Yeah. Go. yeah. yeah. So right, while we rich, sitting you here, bartender. you know why he tasting that, I want you to look at the camera and let them know what else you got going on. Yeah, so I actually um, have my own business. I'm a pastry chef, so I do mm. um, baked goods. You can check me out at Dolly's Cake Pops on Instagram and Facebook and also on Google. Yeah, and you come pick up her product from Just Love Coffee yeah. as well. I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these. Why? Stop playing with yourself. <laughs> mm. Ain't good over there? Yeah, I can do the whole one. I ain't gonna play with you. I just told you I burned it, man. Crazy. See, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, yeah, well, thank you. Thank you so much. You're Misty. welcome. Y'all enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. You live, live. Oh, All right, bro, we back. Another episode. Yes, What's sir. happening, Twinsky? What you been up to? Man, just chilling, man, you know. Now, Everybody. when you say chilling, twin, what is chilling consist of? Because I know Honey the Menace, and Honey ain't gonna let nobody chill at home. So what you mean chilling? Yeah, nah, she ain't, she ain't let none of that go by, man. You know, just running my businesses, man, coffee shop, real estate, you know, getting this Smash and Dash podcast on deck. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know, we just chilling, enjoying life, retirement life. Got me a little bit of, you know, a little drink, drink. Oh, you put something in our cup? Let me yeah, just a little. All right, well, let me take it. Matter of fact, let's cheers to that's another epic cup. My guy. Smashing that. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, brother. All right, now, now, now. You don't get into I know it, the um, <laughs> last time we had got together, it was a bunch of jokes and, you know, ha-ha, ki Right. But I wanted to get a little bit more serious this time, man, just to, so, to let the people know that it ain't always about sports or, you know, just football in general. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of myself, you know, I'm a I'm a heavy pot smoker. I love weed. I right. smoke weed whenever, <laughs> however, it don't matter where it is. I'm gonna do it. But you know, our sister Brittany yeah, Griner. But, uh, yeah, but before you get into that, yeah, can you tell the camera what's your average like? How much I smoke? Yeah, like how many? Oh, how I many blunts a day? What camera? Oh yeah, cameraman. If you need a, me. <laughs> On a on a light day, I probably smoke about seven to eight joints, about a gram a piece. On a heavy day, we two gramming, yeah, two gramming. So we probably going, I'm close to about a half ounce to a zip a day. Now, if I'm in Colorado, yeah, it's unlimited. So yeah, I'm, I'll smoke nonstop. Every time I think about a joint, I'm gonna light up a joint. So that could probably be 17 joints a day. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, does that come back to like, you may have some nagging injuries, uh, Oh yeah, anything. It could well, be no. anything to make you feel better. For sure. That, I smoke marijuana because it's it's not just because it's it as a psychedelic or it makes you feel some type of way, like or gets you hungry or not. I smoke it honestly because it does have medicinal purposes. You know, you, you could you could pop as many Percocets as you want. You could take as many tramadol and you know all these pills that they give you, but sometimes it don't feel like the way that you know marijuana makes you feel. I got you know, um, you know, from playing football, you have un unlimited amount of injuries mm -hmm. from Achilles shoulders that still need to have surgeries on it and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But what I've learned over my time is that, yeah, medicinal marijuana definitely can help. And it also helps, you know, not with the addicting part of the, you know, the, the opioids because that shit is heavy, yeah. man. Yeah, so what would you say to some of the younger kids, like the high school kids, or the college kids, like, because you know, they might, they might look at it like, oh, Lindell White, he went to USC, he went to Lee, he smoked weed, this yeah. and that. And, um, you know, my, they might just look at it like, oh, he smoked weed, so I should smoke weed. And, yeah. you know, these days and ages, younger kids seeing more stuff with YouTube, social media, and they m might want to smoke weed rather as they um, rappers, athletes, yeah. or whatever. But basically with athletes, like, what would you tell a younger athlete that's looking up to you about um, marijuana use? Well, first of all, I mean, you, we gotta be honest with ourselves, man, and it's still in the majority of our, our country, which is the United States, it's still majority like illegal. 
So first of all, what I would tell you, you know, is you, you gotta check your, your surroundings and understand what the, the plan is, understand what the, your cities and your states are, you know, what the rules are. And still, even with you being in high school and college, man, you gotta understand that marijuana right now may not be for you. You know what I mean? For yeah. certain ages, it's still illegal. With certain institutes, or you know, like the NCAA, I'm I'm sure they still have drug uh, a drug policy. So you got to make sure that you you know you follow the drug policy. Now, what I will say is, when you're done with whatever that is, and when you get to relax and become whoever you are down the line, it, yeah, you I, I would tell you you know to experiment with with, with uh, marijuana because what the the nature or the nurturing that it does for you i mean it's 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 natural healing it's not just like i said popping the opioid getting high and forgetting about the pain you know what i mean it actually helping with the pain reduction to where i don't have to keep taking these pills mm -hmm. to where i'm addicted and then i'm you know probably on the street one day begging for something right um but again kids if you're out there and you're listening to me smoking weed and thinking it's cool Listen, you will probably get popped by the NCAA. You ass to be sitting at home somewhere and you'll be mad talking about, oh, I thought, no, Lindell ain't telling you to smoke weed until you get an opportunity to smoke weed. You hear me? Go to your coach and make sure that whatever you taking, I don't care if it's a uh, vitamin or creatine or whatever you think it may be, ask your coach first to, to know for certain if you can take it. I ain't telling you to take shit. This man be trying to do that real quick. <laughs> But let's, <laughs> man, how to control, y'all. But even with that being said, bruh. I want to get a little bit more serious and talk about, again, our sister, Brittany Griner, right? Um, she was just convicted of Russian laws. They said, um, you know, she was, I guess, smuggling into their, uh, mm -hmm. into their country. I don't know how many ounces or what they're saying. They, I guess they say two carts. Yeah, two carts. Yes. Um, you know, based on what my basic knowledge of, you know, going off the internet, what I'm hearing is they saying, man, um, two grams of oil can get you a 15 day, can, like it's a detention. It's like a silver suit. You pretty much can be done with your case after 15 days. Right. Anything over two grams and uh, over six grams of flour, or no, two grams of oil, six grams of flour, then it becomes a trafficking charge, right? Right. So I'm not sure based on like how they're playing this, like like how many grams of oil did she really have? Because if it was under two grams, she should have been out of detention, you know, months ago. Right. So, I mean, how do you feel about this? Because you're a non-smoker. How, yeah. you, how do you feel about it? Man, I really feel like you gotta understand what's going on in today's time. Like, yeah, we're going through it with Russia right now. So, and you know, what I've heard was we got one of their most dangerous men in custody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. A murderer, um, a arms de um, dealer yeah. or whatever, right? So then she goes over there, she do that or whatever, and they lock up. I feel like she's a pun. Right. Like you, you got to look at it like, okay, she did this. I guarantee you if it was just any Joe Blow, somebody we didn't know, yeah just went over there and that happened they probably got a slap on the wrist right yeah but now we got this WNBA superstar two-time gold medalist too right now she's over here and not only not only that she's she's playing basketball over there so country. she's so you know what I'm saying? She was, they so knew she, she was coming yeah she they knew she was coming but not only that she's representing Russia yeah Know what I'm saying? She's representing them. And I don't think this was her first year playing over there. Okay. Know what I'm saying? So we got her. So, okay, what any smart leader would do. Okay, we got we got her. Yeah. Um, okay, we want so and so back. Yeah. Okay, if y'all if y'all want her out, then we need him back. Yeah, know what I'm I get saying? what you're saying. We need yeah. him back. So if y'all willing to switch or not. But I heard the US was willing to switch, but they still ended up giving her nine, nine years. years but that don't mean it's over but they they showing the u.s like we serious about this like we're gonna give her nine years she's gonna sit over here for them nine ten years until y'all really serious about what y'all want to do answer me this do you think if that was lebron james carmelo anthony well no man let's not do that because i think that's easy way out yeah we i say i know my answer to that question if that's taylor swift 
do you think Taylor Swift get what happens if that's Taylor Swift? Man, it'll be a war right now. <laughs> they gonna be a get, war. They're gonna like, find a way to get Taylor. They're gonna back find home. a way. It'll be a war. But in the same sense of it all, it's like if you is Taylor Swift and you over there in their possession, do you really want it to be a war? Yeah. Because you know what happened with prisoners. Yeah. They cutting throats, cutting off heads, all that when okay, it's in so, war. So it's like, okay, so what, what you, you saying do? that this is this is my this is my my twenty two to this, right? It's wartime. Me myself, this Lindell, right? I'm about to go. I got a contract in Russia. I just told you I'm heavy pot smoker. Y'all know this, right? I'm. He- I just told you I'm 17 a day. I'm about to go to Russia. What I'm going to do? This is me. I get online and I'm going to check what's going on in the world, right? But on top of that, I need to know what Russian law is with marijuana, right? So if I see that in clear black and white that Russian, like we pretty much don't play with weed in Russia. And then on top of that, we're in war right now. On top of that, the U.S. is supplying (laughs) Ukraine, the people we are in war with, with, you know, rocket launchers, you know, big time artillery guns, whatever. But I decide to take whatever amount of weed I decide to take. And I had that minute, I had that moment, right? Because you always, we always had that moment where it's like, I can either throw this shit in the trash or I can say, hey, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. So do you think she had that moment where she's like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it? I done did this shit before. I know I can get through it. Cause to me, young, it's wartime in another country, and the U.S. supplying these people. No, I don't see no. Uh, Do you think she? So she, she didn't think. Nah. She or she thought that, that. She, it was she, medicinal like, marijuana. Obviously, she done did it more than once. Okay. Obviously. Right. But so you she felt comfortable, that, right? Yeah, of course. So like, you gotta think. You've been doing this all this time. Ain't nothing gonna really pop in your head like, oh nah. I've been doing it yeah, so I've been, easy. Well, so, no, no, no. Like, Again, no, 22. Like, no, but 2K, it like it's a war storm. going on. I know it's a war going on, but what I'm saying is, it's like. And I'm Brittany just, Griner from America. It's like if you ride the corner store every month, you're going to keep doing it. Yeah. If you don't get caught, you're going to keep doing it. Until that, so, and listen, until yeah, that one time friend. your ass do get caught, then look. Yeah, then the one so time. So look, so the way you saying it is she's been. Cause she went thinking. I don't want nobody. I don't want our fans out there. She went thinking. Free they Britney Griner. Yes, they need Free to Free Britney. Go. Period. Free Britney. Free Britney Griner. I don't think this shit is. I don't even know why we're talking about it, or even in a sense about this marijuana. This is horror. This is the dumbest shit ever, right? But it's like, bro, I gotta play twenty two. It's like I, she went to a different country and broke the law. With somebody that we know that they're we're beefing with, politically, right. right? So like it's like, did you did you study your playbook or did you not? Again, we're back on that. Like, why would you go to a different country, my man? I wouldn't knowing- even win and play there this season. I would have went somewhere else. She'd okay. have been one of the biggest WNBA stars in the world. She could go play with in whatever country she want to play in. But for, I wouldn't what, have went there. But even okay, not speaking even of her, that we're in because. Her even being over there, she know what's going on yeah. more than what we know what's yeah. going on over okay, here. Okay, yeah. I so like, I'm not even going back there until all that is settled. Okay, but okay. They make, I think it's somewhere like six times the um, salary that she makes in WNBA in Russia. Yeah, I, but I it's think easy probably for her she to probably say go I'm not to China going. and do it too. I mean, it's, I'm, other it's probably it's the same. I'm pretty sure. So, so what Trump said. That she basically, she, because remember Trump said she went over there loaded up. Right. And if they're, if you're loaded up with you. <laughs> uh, Trump wild, man. <laughs> Trump wild as hell. <laughs> Ain't no way she would load it up. That's what I'm saying. So two carts can't be loaded up then. Right. No. All right, bro. I ain't going for that one. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, my heart goes out to Brittany Griner, man, because like I said, I'm a, I'm a avid, uh, I'm an advocate for marijuana. I know what it does uh, medicinally, so I know that if she really was traveling there, with the intentions or even the thoughts of her, with her, you know, with her paperwork saying that she yeah. can carry it, then I mean, and plus she's been doing it. Ain't nobody ever said anything. 
I know how she could probably be feeling right now, man. So, you know, my thoughts and prayers. Especially with, with the doctor prescribing her that. Like, why wouldn't she go with it? But see. But, but my thing is, though, like. It's okay. international, too, young. Yeah, but you saying that, but it's like. Okay. I just went to Jamaica. I had to declare everything that I was taking. Yeah. It don't matter if it was a little Advil or, you know, a blood thinner. You had to, they, they wanted to know. That's what I'm saying. So if. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, okay, since you want to bring up Trump. <laughs> if you was the president of the United States. Yeah. Would you give up? Would you give up the murderer for Britney? Ooh, that's see see that you got to think before you answer you still got to think about your job no 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 I completely understand what you're saying because we're asking somebody because like, I what don't if know you, what if you switch right Britney had two cartridges right right you and switch we, and we give them they when we get Britney back and they get him back and he come over here and just say he do some shit and he killed 20 30 Americans was that an even trade? Yeah. No, what I'm saying is no, I'm asking how you. we hell I'm asking not. You the fucking question. That's what. Hey, bro. Hold on. <laughs> hey, bro. Saying, relax, bro, bro. Bro, relax. Bro. So what? What do you? I'm just hey, saying. Bro, I'm saying like there's area we can move the table. Right. All right. But what I'm saying is, hell no. That's what I'm saying. If we're being honest about this shit. Listen. If this Joe Smo over there, let his ass fry. They gonna be over there. They let bye. I, again. I, okay. I watched uh, the Discovery Channel or Nat, Nat Geo Wild or whatever it is, and it's like how to catch a smuggler. These be everyday Joe Smoes, and I guarantee you, Biden or Trump ain't went on there talking about we gonna uh, exchange these people for nobody. It's hey, you did your crime, you do your time. So with that being said, you to asking me, will I exchange a dude that we know if he's a known killer, and if he get back with his government, like what, like what do you, what do you think? Is, no, I can't do that, but. You know the, I'm not the president, so Lin, the Lindell person, hell yeah, we got to get Britney Grinder back, and plus yeah. sleepy ass Joe probably don't no, know what's going on anyway. You're the anyway. president. Yeah, not I'm not the Lindell, president. If you're the president. If you're the president, what are you doing, basically? Well, because if, at the end of the day, they know everybody know they doing her wrong. Yeah. So basically, I feel like no, 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 I feel no. Like See, they based got on the laws, a, they're not doing her wrong, young. The laws are the yeah, you laws. Look at other she cases. went over there and no, loaded up like you, you, Trump no, said. Bro, that's even in the U.S. You can have, you can do something. No, that's Listen, the U.S. No, we're Wait, talking this international. Me, I, know, so I don't even explain. know the laws. No, but let me explain to you. See, young, you in talking the, to, No, in the U.S., you yes. can do something in your maximum time that you can get for that charge. It may be 10 years, but when you go to court here and, and do all that, they might give you like, they can say the max is 10 years, but they might gave you six months probation. Right. Know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure over there, the max is 10 years. No, 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 that but starts, they, it starts off at 10. For traffic, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Their years over in Russia, anything over six grams or over two grams of oil, it starts so off that's at the 10. Minimum. Those are minimum. They, and, they could, minimum at that point, mandatory. they're telling you, you're a trafficker. So you feel like they're not doing nothing wrong if they're following the laws. Are they following their laws? They're following their laws. So are they but doing I don't anything know how, wrong? Again, I don't know how much oil how? she said. Because if it's over. If they got what she said, she got. Right. It could be 2 point. Are, if it's 2.1 grams of oil in the in their eye of the law, she's a trafficker. Yes. Yeah, so if she have what they saying she Yeah, she got to do her time. No. Okay. So are they doing her wrong? If if she got what they saying she got, are they doing her Based wrong? Based on Russian law, no. They're doing exactly what they need to be doing. Based on me and my American law, hell yeah, they're full of shit. But even in America, you just, bro, we just seen, earlier today we were talking, what happened, bro? We just seen a, a yeah, guy. Let me go, yeah. He was he was arrested in 2019 back on the with 46 grams of marijuana, y'all. Right. And he is doing so a life sentence thing. without a chance of parole. So even in America, you can get caught with weed and do life. I don't see Biden letting them people out so this is what i'm telling you i got friends i got homeboys that done boy they young we, i got friends that done sold some weed and went to jail do you think right. that they looking at britney grinder like let britney grind out or do you think they say joe, joe Biden let me the fuck out right now because bro there was only two grams of weed and you got me in jail right no 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 ain't no so, right no, answer but that. what i'm saying is so the story where he's talking about please Ray, the break man down. was sentenced to life in prison on man on marijuana possession um, 
in 2019 yeah. after he was found guilty of being in possession of 43 grams of marijuana. That's an ounce and a half. Of, yeah. So that's an ounce and a half of weed. And yes. he's doing life. And he's doing life in the U.S. She's doing so for two do grams you, of so, oil in a different country, flying there, knowing that it's illegal. She's only doing nine years. So somebody make this make sense to me. How the hell, if I live in America, because I do feel bad for Britney, but how do I not feel bad for him then? Does he not to get out? Does, does should he be released first, or should Britney be released first? I he's feel on like Britney. Britney. How he's Free on your soil, man. Free, Free Britney. Britney, but he's on your own Free soil. Free Britney, man. I don't give all a right, damn man, what he's talking about. Free Britney. Hey, see, all right. Free Britney. All right. So even we on this, we we on that story. That was a good subject, but now. There's even been some more crazier beef in the, in the, in the news, right? Yeah, well, you know, that was kind of heated a little bit, but uh, it's yeah. only right. let's get back to something that we're a little bit more familiar with. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get back to this football field, but, you know, he's practicing, but he's not actually back on the oh, field yet. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... We gonna we gonna dive into Deshaun Watson. Oh my God, Watson, right, Davis, man. And you know Watson, he's going through a lot right now, and also the women are going through a lot right Definitely. now. Definitely. You know, it's been a long time, um, and he finally got picked up. Yeah. And you know, they it's been dragging through the media and things like that or whatever. Right. And finally, it comes to a point where everybody got the news that everybody been waiting on right the sean watson signed with the browns he well previous before that he set out the whole year right oh yeah it wasn't the houston so was that from a trade or like why did they why did he sit out all last year oh because of the the allegations that's why they set him out the whole year yeah the allegations so basically it wasn't an nfl suspension but i look at it like it was a a team suspension. Right, okay. The Texans suspended him. Right. Or whatever, right? So he ended up with the Browns, um, signed this big contract. Yeah. Um, I think it was like two hundred and thirty million or something like that. Um after the two hundred and thirty million contract was signed, I think it was anywhere from two to four more allegations allegations came out on wait, him. wait now was these allegations did they pursue criminal charges or was he just like like they went straight civil i'm Do not, you, are you not i sure? think he had like a total of 21 um civil charges and i think he only had like two criminal charges or whatever right okay so but I, I what, it, what it came down to so they gave the nfl finally um gave him a six game suspension right right and we thought it was over. Then Period. the next day it come back out. The NFL is appealing the decision. Yeah, bullshit. And that's the crazy thing. I played 10 years in this league. And I could be wrong, but this is my first time ever seeing. in the history of NFL football seeing the NFL punish a guy and then come back and appeal the punishment. the punishment because basically they might say it's not the NFL yeah but, but yeah. they appointed a judge right yes sir they appointed a judge to give her decision so when she gave her decision yeah they came back and Said appealed it. it so what do you think about that well I think our uh our, well the league that we played in previously there it's 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 a league driven by the fans and I feel like they seen some of the outrage. Fans That's, are the owners. Well, I mean, it could, owners could be behind the doors, you know, taking shots. But I think majority of it was, um, I think they got a lot of pushback or feedback from the fans that they weren't expecting. But what bothers me with this is that they both appointed this judge. So they both agreed that the lady probably could do a great job, you know, figuring it out. She's an ex-federal judge. Clearly she's going to have nobody's – she wasn't siding with anybody. She was gonna try to, you know, figure out the right thing. What 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 was bothering me is that okay, civilly we're handling things right. So I understand civilly is happening. Criminally, they declined. This two different counties declined to pick up an indictment on him. So there's but no. How many of the accusers? From what I'm understanding, I think it might. I'm not sure. I, I, I think it may be six of the twenty something. 
but then they went they I know but then I guess it dwindled down to two but then at these final two they refused in what they refused to indict him ultimately there was not enough evidence you know because if there's evidence they're going to move on with it right right my 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 problem is with this is that like first and foremost I want women to understand I don't condone in none of that shit like mm-hmm. I don't condone in anything no means no period yes and if you don't if you feel uncomfortable if somebody's making you uncomfortable you know what I mean I, I, I mean, hopefully they can leave it but if they can't leave then they should be able to share their story and feel comfortable sharing their sharing their story yeah send their ass to jail man but yeah to me Got if to. something happened to me I probably would want to. Wait, if something happened to you, like wait, if yeah, somebody said like you, some, you, yeah, if something happened crazy to me like that. I would probably. Would you? T- I would. would you actually? I would, I'm t- going to. I'm going to tell. You, would you tell? Yeah, if I'm going to tell. If somebody said she you, would you tell? No, what do you like? It's, what do you mean? Like, yeah, I if mean, if a woman, if a woman sexually harassed, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's. Uh, are you gonna tell? That's <laughs> answer the question. It ain't that hard. Answer the no, question. Listen. What are you stuttering for? Because I'm you, asking you. It depends on what this. On is. what? What does it depend? I mean, on? because you go and get a massage. So when you go get a massage, yeah, they always ask, "What do you request? Do you want a man or a woman?" Yeah. What is your request? I ask for a lady most Okay, of the time. so if you go in there yeah. with a lady and she sexually harass you, well, are you telling? That's 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 a that's no, a, it's not. That's it's inter- yes or no, no question. It's interesting. Are you how? Are you telling yes or no? Myself? I don't think I'm gonna tell Bro. because I'm probably gonna try some shit at that point. Oh, okay, okay. Now that's what I'm saying. No, I'm being ready. honest. If but that's what I'm saying, guys, I feel like are a bit different. My, again, I'm a big ass 600, I'm 6'1", 230 pounds. So if I'm on a table and a woman makes a sexual advance towards me, I'm like, shit, okay, it must mean something. But if I get up and I make the sexual advance towards her, she's probably going to be scared and nervous. Yes. She'll be looking like, you know, I don't know, she might need help. She may not say nothing. She might, you know, uh, go along with whatever we're doing at that moment, but she probably don't want to. What I'm saying is if I'm getting a massage and somebody tries to do something with me, I'm probably gonna go with it, yes. Okay. But I'm a man. Answer my question. That's yes. right. I See, didn't ask so you, you just I didn't ask you to explain. Just, I asked a yes or no bro, question. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> you no, know, truly, you're a piece of shit. I'm not laughing right now. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm just saying, bro. Off, bro. Who hey, are you? Okay, question. but look, we gotta get serious though. Yes, we gonna because get I don't want these like because people might I don't want like because these allegations are, you know, they're they're taken seriously. They ain't lighthearted. Yeah. Again, if that was me in that situation, yes, I probably would try to see what the game plan was about, Coach. Put me in. I'm trying to get put in the game at that moment. But with these ladies, th- what, what bothers me about it is that there's only I don't know how many women that try to file criminally but i know it was less than the amount that's going with civil cases right 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 and to me i know that if somebody made me feel a certain way and that i wanted to ruin them i wouldn't want to just get in their pockets yeah i would try to do something criminally because i would know that that would affect them on the football field like legitimately yeah yeah and i saying? feel that way so do you feel like a lot of these women like not a lot of them but do you feel like it's some of the women like reaching like as far as like okay i know i know i massaged him before right yeah and i see all these allegations coming out yeah. and he didn't do anything to me but i want to get me a couple of dollars yeah so i'm finna jump in on the case do yeah. you think is do you think that's happening as well i mean it's hard to say i mean you know so you, do you think do you think he sexually harassed twenty six women and all of in and there was not only, enough evidence on, wait, to indict him on anything? No, no. Do you think he sexually harassed twenty six women? Right. And it was only two women to six that, that might be anywhere came anywhere between from two to six women that came forward to the police for criminal charges. Right. And now there's twenty six on the civil just civil exactly i mean it make those things that make you go hmm it, i mean it definitely does because it, like man I, we played football before i've been in situations where women have said some things that never took place 
right, but right, right. right at that moment it was believed to be true and the other player was you know had got messed around and you right. know basically messed his football career just because she said and then years later she came out and said it was absolutely false that you know she was pressured into making these statements so mm -hmm. is that a possibility of course it can be a possibility unfortunately i wouldn't want it to it, it sucks because it, that's it, that's a possibility in the world we live in right it, it sucks that like even if it like so it happened to six right in those six they probably tried to you know pursue some criminal charges but then it wasn't enough to get indicted so like are they still saying that those six are lying because they're not getting indicted on those charges or did no. it still happen and you know what i'm saying yeah it's, this, just, it's, it's, it a, it's is, a messed up situation and, and, because yeah and this is my thing and i want the whole world to understand where i'm coming from with it and what i want to say my whole thing is like listen if someone sexually harass you, rape you, or anything, let's just put it in that situation. You have 26 civil cases. So imagine if all 26 women go down to the police station and file criminal charges. And after you file your criminal charges, you file your civil charges. Yes. Right? So if it comes to a point when you only filing civil charges and at the end of the day, y'all settle out of court, he pays off all y'all. He's still gonna be playing football yeah. on Sunday. If you go down to the if you go down to the police station and you have twenty six charges, man, yeah. there's no way he'll never see the field again. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I understand. If you saying. have two to six criminal charges and 26 civil charges something it's going to make it look like okay uh, most of y'all is on the money grab the ones that went down there and filed the suit it looks like they have know what i'm saying it's like it, they yeah, have a legit claim it, to what's a legit going on claim. i hear what you're saying but i guarantee you if there was 26 criminal charges yeah he in 26 he be, he civil charges football this year listen if it was 26 criminal charges and 26 civil charges He's going to jail and he still have to pay y'all pay y'all y'all money. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. At I the can, end of the day. I'm with you when you're right, bro. Like, I don't know. It's just And I have a daughter. So I would I teach my daughter, no, you go and file them criminal charges first and then see about the civil later. Yeah. Like Man, my it whole does thing, make it, like it makes you wonder when you look. Like why? Why is civil the only thing that matters? Yeah, why is that all we're going after? Because civil, yes, it affect him, but because he got to give you money. But he just signed a two hundred and thirty million dollar. Yeah. So even if just say, okay, I'm not sure what he had to pay, yeah. but if he got 26, 26 civil cases, right? And he had, just say he had to pay him a million dollars a piece. Right. He paid him $26 million. He still got what? $204 million. $204 million. <laughs> right. It left. Didn't, it didn't do nothing to him. It ain't affecting and him. He, so, and he still gets so to play if, football. And not saying that he did it because I don't know either yeah, side. Yeah. But if he is this monster out here doing this and he pays out $26 million and he got $204 million left, do you think he's not going to continue doing it? Yeah. Man, yeah. Because they say it's behavior. Once it's in you, it's going to always be, you know, that's a pattern. Um, right. But again, dog, like that's that's what's fucked up about this situation, because, you know, you never want to discredit the ones that it's really happened to. But then when you look at it, it's like, again, if I want to make sure that this never happens to somebody again or that I, I know for a fact that I don't want this to happen to somebody again, because, you know, this is a horrific situation, I'm probably going to I'm going to go talk to the police about it. You have Especially to. once I know that it's out there, you there's nothing to. else to be scared about. Um, I mean, because you, but that's another thing, bro. Sometimes that you, you got to take and you, it's it sucks, man. Because I know you're going. You you sometimes you got to take into account. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes women scared, don't be yeah. want. They're scared. They want to don't want to come forth and yeah. this and that. And that could be the issue. Right. I'm not saying it's not. 
But I'm just saying, in a perfect world. Yeah, in a perfect or, world. But if you really wanted to hit him where it hurts. Yes, if that's, that's his, what I'm coming You at. would get his ass that's, off the yeah, football field. Yeah, that's what field. I'm telling the women. I wouldn't go for the money. Yes. Forget what the I'm silver. I'm no, going, what, I'm, what I'm saying is what, what I'm telling the women is if you go for the, the, the criminal charges first, you can always still go for the silver charge yeah, next. It's, it's, that's there. Know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you go straight for the silver charge, it's never going back to the criminal charge. You get your money, and then I'm pretty sure it's worked out when you give them the money. It's all worked out in the contract or whatever it is. I won't talk about this no more. I'm not going to file a criminal charge. I'm not going to do this. So basically, like once they get that money, it's over with. You can't go back and file criminal charges right. after you done filed your civil charge and y'all done y'all done settled out of court right, yeah. for a million dollars. Cause now if that's yeah, what he paid. Yeah. But but if I go back, to me I re- I've, I remember something about a trade. Like I think Deshaun Watson wanted out of Houston, man. Right. And yeah, then all yeah. of a sudden, like yes. it went from him wanting to trade out of Houston to randomly it was like all oh, this Yeah, cause they traded D Hop first. Yes. And he was mad about that. Then he was like, then, Okay, uh, forget yeah. that, I want out. And then randomly it's like we look up one day and it's like, oh, one, two. And then it's like twenty I I what I I don't and I heard the, the 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 prosecutor was was like best friends with the Texans owner. Oh. Don't mark my word. That's what I heard. It could be rumors. Could oh, like be the but prosecu- Oh, you saying the prosecutor of some the county per- in, in, of in the Texas, county Houston. that yes that brung up the charges. Oh man, that brung up all these charges forward on him when it came out. Yeah, he's best friends with the owner. You want out of Houston? See, yeah. Now all this shit come up out of nowhere. How I want, if he never went out of Houston, who do Does you it, think gonna protect him? The owner, especially if come on now. Right, but now he went out. It's like yeah, we can we can feed him to the wolves. That's interesting, man. Or I, do you think this was going on before he wanted out? And then and finally, when he wanted out, then they like, just yeah, let it. All right, yeah, go ahead. Two K. That now that's. So was look, they covering it up know, in Houston before? Because no, guess he what? Wanted out. We do know Houston just settled out of court too, right? Then they they settled with the the other. Yeah. So it, hey, bro, that's a very interesting question. So maybe we shouldn't just be looking at Deshaun Watson. Maybe the NFL should be investigating the Houston Texans atmosphere, because how do you know the owner? Owner at what I'm saying is just Houston Texans yeah. in general. Because how? Okay, if it's one or two, that's fine. How do y'all let this happen with 28 under y'all's nose as a as an organization? Something's not, I don't know, I don't know. And then the Texans is being brought in on it because I guess they was getting the rooms or- My point. Or they was providing some of the masseuse. So you mean to tell me all these women and not one time did they come back to the Texans and tell them- Not oh, one man, time. This man in here wilding. That's why when you look <laughs> at it, bro, sometimes you gotta just question shit. You, I mean, you, you will be a fool not to question shit in life. You know, you don't ever, you could believe what we want. Like you could believe us sometimes, but it's okay to get online and get the Googling and, and check sources. Not just one or two, like cross reference, just so you know what's right. going on. You know what I mean? Hey twin, we've been going a little hard, man. It's been a little deep on this episode, man. Yeah, so let's, real let's lighten this shit on up a little bit. <laughs> I need to know some fantasy football. I know you the king of fantasy football, especially out of me and you. You be yeah. trying to cheat me every year, trying to make me sign up to your little league so you could yeah. pay me, but I ain't gonna allow that, man. But I, I fantasy football's upon us. The season is here now, man. I need yeah. to know who you riding with. I, I gotta know. First of all, what you wanna do? Like, you gonna give me a set of certain people or you got some people that you just want to get the crowd just in case they need to, you know, get some draft picks out there. No, nah, what I kind of want to do is I'm going um, to give some sleepers. Yeah. And I'm going to give some guys to absolutely, absolutely All right, so you stay say, away from. But what you said, oh, okay, stay away from. Okay, I thought you was going to say what absolutely you want first? pick up. You want the sleepers first? Now, I, the- I want sleepers first for sure. I, I, I want controversy last. Okay. So Who's a sleeper? Who's a your sleeper, number one sleeper at running number back? Number one sleeper, I would say um, James Cook. That's Dalvin's little Dalvin's brother. Dalvin's little brother. He yeah. just went to Buffalo. 
And you know they throw the ball a lot. But young, Especially to the running backs. I give you sleeper, but bro, my little brother Zach Moss from Utah up there in Buffalo too right now. Yeah, but they got different styles. Like I feel yeah. like they brought him in like I feel like they brought James Cook in like for, you know, to throw the ball out of the backfield. Okay. Okay, yeah. And I then you know in the PPR league, um, you get points. Each catch you get a point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get a catch, a uh, point for each um catch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Zach Moss probably gonna be the main guy. Yeah, but you and then you, they'll you. bring him in for you know, he gonna get his receiving yards. Yeah. He gonna run his screens, he gonna get his catches and stuff like that. So that's where I say he's a sleeper. Okay. When I say he's a sleeper, that don't mean draft him first round, okay, second okay, round. Okay, just making that's sure. That's a guy that's still gonna be around like fourth, fifth round. No, not even fourth, fifth round. That guy still might be around sixth, seventh round. Oh, so yeah, you saying yeah? Okay, I get why you saying sixth, this seventh too. round. I see, clearly, I but don't play a guy this that shit. I feel like that you can get in the third, the fourth round, Tony Pollard, behind Zeke, Cowboy. I like Zeke this year to take all the carries. Hey Zeke, if you he's listening, not gonna don't take share all the shit, carries. man. Take all the carries from that man. I ain't. He's not gonna take all the carries. Why? You think TP like he's? What does he do differently than the Zeke that was? He can't in the passing game. You got to think about if you give Zeke the ball in the open field, he can do anything anybody can do. Man, Zeke is not splitting out or going one on one running option routes with the linebackers because they're not, not doing not that Zeke. for him. But that's if he not could, Zeke game. That's but he not could. his game. But they're not doing that. They are gonna give all man. those plays to Tony Pollard. See what people fail to realize in this. Learn me something. Then. What people fail to realize okay. in a lot, and I used to be like this too before I got into fantasy football, <laughs> and I'm deep into it now. Like they might look at it like, okay, um, Zeke. I love Zeke. I'm a fan of Zeke. Yeah, I'm really a fan of Zeke for sure. But it ain't you, just about being a fan. Yes, when you talk about fantasy football, it's strategy. Yeah. It's not about like Zeke can go out there and give you, uh, just say Zeke go out there and give you 120 yards. Yeah. One touchdown. Right? Yeah. But Paula go out there and give you eight catches, may give you 50 rushing yards. Okay. Say he give you 50 receiving yards. He's going to score more fantasy points than Zeke scored. Yeah. So it's not about that. I it's about strategizing. So when okay. you say sleeper in this, so it's like, damn, I can pass on Zeke in the first round and still make and up come for back it. and get him in the third or fourth round and still make up for those and still make more points than I would have got getting Zeke in the first round. Yeah. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then so, I go get him in the third or fourth round. So I'm going to make right. up for it. Okay, then. So, you know? so I, I feel where you're going. So who, with that being said, if TP is a third or fourth, who is a, like, who is the I got to have first round, first pick? If you if you was the number like obviously if you to get the first uh round pick of your your fantasy football draft, who are you gonna take first, number one overall? Derek King Henry. Simple. Derek How can you even ask that? Derek the King. Ooh. How can you even ask that? Well, I That's had to crazy. ask because the people wanted to know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So you listen, know that, but what about these people that say Christian McCaffrey? Or Saquon Barkley. Yes, I understand that. Before I get to them, I got one of the biggest sleepers. The I biggest got one sleepers? of the biggest sleepers. Right now. So you hold on. Right now. Let me guess who the sleeper is. Let me guess. Uh, hold on. Before you say, g give me a position he plays. I can't do that. If you give me a position, I, bro, there's so many people. Is it a tight end? I say Pitts from Atlanta. He's going to go crazy this year. His. And yeah, Drake London, USC kid, another yeah from from you uh, no, Atlanta. No, my biggest sleeper, my this big, man, this man gotta be my biggest he sleeper. Spoke to me clearly earlier, Baker Mayfield. <laughs> oh shit! My <laughs> biggest. Sleeper. Hey, this man had this you smoke with me earlier, boy. You got to be high. You talking about Baker? Who Baker from the Browns? Mayfield. Yes, Mayfield. Break Baker. You not a Eugene? Yes. I'm disappointed in you. He ain't even going to start over at Sam but Donald, listen, USC, fight on. I but see listen, you what you got to understand about Baker is he's shown flashes. That's all he's shown. He's shown flashes. And when oh Baker is not hurt, when Baker is not hurt, Baker have put some games together. 
This is what you have to look at. Name me one quarterback. I can't believe. No, how? Name 2K, me. man, I can't. Listen, brother. I twin, feel like it's the organization. Twin, out of all the shit I ever agree with you and not agree, this has to be the most absurd. The organization. Do you think Baker yes. Mayfield, out of every player in the NFL, he thinks Baker fucking. Bro. Listen, Baker Mayfield. Oh, no, I'm back. Baker fucking Mayfield, John. You're out of truth. No, you're out of control today. I'm not. He listen, needs to be stopped best, right now. The, listen, he needs to be stopped, y'all. The, Fuck that. The best thing that could have happened to Baker Mayfield is for him to get out of Cleveland. Well, yeah. Cleveland ruined Baker, but he's not all the way. He's coming back. This Young. year, he's coming back for a vengeance. I'm saying this right now, mark my word. Baker Mayfield is coming back for a vision. I don't I'm not sure if like, yeah, he was hurt. Come back player of the year. Man, hey. Come back player of the year. He's trying to go Baker viral. Mayfield. He's going viral for this. Come back player Just of the year. Make sure y'all get if this man tells me that Cleveland I get it right, because I played we both played. He knows that Cleveland stinks. Everybody I give you that. knows that. But there's no way. Name me the last you have pro Jarvis ball. Odell. Nick Chubb. What's the other running back from Kansas doesn't City? Matter. Yeah, he doesn't. Name me, hey. You got all these weapons and you don't do shit? Baker, sometimes like Odell Daddy, when he did the how many times you miss Odell in the sometimes you gotta but look at your damn system. self, it's the man. System, though. No, it's him. It's the because system. Because he's the quarterback in the system. No, hey, it's 2K. The you're back doing it's this the shit again. Oh, my God. So you hey, you're it? back doing this shit, 2K. Stop that. Brother, no, no, no. So no, name no, no. me the last Brown quarterback to go to the Pro Bowl. Baker Mayfield probably was the only one. I don't know. But before then. Name but, me the last before Baker. How many quarterbacks? Did Baker made the Pro Bowl? Uh, no, there was one that made. Name me the last one that made the Pro Bowl. I don't remember. It was years ago. My point. But what I'm trying to tell you is how many quarterbacks, i.e. Johnny Manziel, uh, Cody Kessler. Uh, that shows you. How many quarterbacks had Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry? How many? Can we do that? Hey, Doesn't hey, matter. producer sirs, when y'all pull up this and we do our rewind back, put up these, put up the dynamic and show the quarterbacks and then show who they had to throw it to. This man had probably Hall of Famers if they stay healthy. We talking about quarter, or we talking about receivers that had. Who's Hall of Famer? I mean, Odell, if he stay, could stay healthy. Jarvis Landry has had a silent but a deadly career because he played with Baker Mayfield. When he was down there playing in Miami, he was leading everybody in receptions. Randomly, he goes up over Baker Mayfield, and he stinks it up. What the hell is going on? Hey, Baker. It's one kind of I know denominator. he believes in you, but I believe in Sam Darnold. And both of y'all probably, I ain't going to say what I, hey, but listen, y'all going to have a long year down there in Charlotte. Hey, listen, it's one common denominator. Who? Cleveland Browns. Nah. Yes. How come? So young. It's they just went to the playoffs. But I'm going to get off but that. The same quarterback took them to the playoffs. I already said it. All right, Baker so look, Mayfield comeback right, so player look, of the so year. Look, so, so, so who are who are your biggest stay away from this year? Who My, shall we not draft? And you better tell me why. <laughs> yeah, all that. You're, you're about to, some I have two stay away. <laughs> Who's your main? Okay. We're gonna, we, we want the, we want the last. At a time, you no, want we want me. the last. The, do we want the last or the ones that probably you should stay away the most the last? Who's who's second to last right now? Who who would you stay away from? Second, the second to last. Yeah, I would say Saquon Barkley. Sa Saquon? Yeah. Saquon That's healthy though. Right? Yeah. Huh? Saquon healthy right now. Since when? Well, well he was healthy. What, he was healthy at the beginning of last year too. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah. <laughs> see, the NFL yeah, is a very no, shaky. I'm just the NFL is a very shaky. When situation. was the last time? Because they said that the guy was going to come in and probably break all your records. Matter of fact, there was but another guy me, that they say I'm was going to break but, all your but, records, but, too. But we's on Shaquan. I'm telling yeah. my reason. My reason for stay away is um, I would not waste a first-round pick on Shaquan because he he haven't been – Saquon. 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 Okay. Damn, dog, I don't even know your name because you ain't Saquon did nothing. Saquon something like that. No, I ain't but no, did nothing. Saquon. He never went for 2K. So, you know, I would Adrian say, Peterson name. I would say go away from Saquon in the first round because – He's haven't he haven't been healthy since his rookie year. It's proven. 
You're right. What is, what is going on year four? No, in fantasy oh, no, wait, football, no, he's wait. 100% correct, y'all. No, I'm talking, talking about it in general. We're not talking about No, no, no. About, See, yeah. no, he's saying, oh, my. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. This, these in are, general. <laughs> Shots fired. So you mean Young, to tell me I thought we were, Saquon, this is, a fan, this is yes, fantasy it's, football. It's, yes, but you mean to tell me if Saquon was a fourth-round draft pick, would he still be a star running back? After being hurt for the no, last if, two if seasons, Saquon, stop playing, man. If Saquon was drafted in the fourth round, he would be backing up probably. He would be cut right now. No, nah, he wouldn't playing, be cut. Man. Yes, he would. Well, well, yes, he, he would. As a fourth round. He's round. played one year and been hurt the last two years. He'll be cut right now. We're going in year four. Yeah, based on the Come football, on, man. NFL I played in, he wouldn't be able to play. Exactly. He'll be cut. And oh, somebody well, will pick it, up. All right, well, so, but I would not waste the first round on Saquon then, because – he haven't proven that he can to stay be healthy. healthy. They okay, can stay healthy. then there's another running back that got to be right. on this next list. I know there, I know there got to be another. I and guarantee y'all. I can tell y'all who the first one is. Then if Saquon is two, I know who number one. I can well, guarantee. Let me, I'm gonna let you say my, it, but I, I, my number Christian one, McCaffrey. stay McCaffrey. away from is Christian McCaffrey. I know, oh my, I knew it. Number one, bro. Hey, oh my God, I knew it, bro. Why? But do you agree? Well, based on what you were just telling me, based on what you were just telling me, 2K, and, and right. the fact that fantasy football is based on certain stuff. We're so I remember both, 2019. Man. Fantasy and 2019, real deal, man. But 2019, with that being said, 2019, Kristen McCaffrey was going to break ED's record, yo, everybody's record. He was on his way. I remember it. And I remember me and you sitting there saying, bro, they're using up a lot of his carries for no reason because they weren't making the playoffs. They weren't going to do nothing that year. And he had a, a phenomenal fantasy football year. But I remember me and you No, he had a phenomenal year, no, too. But, yeah, that's a, to me, it's a – Yeah, it, the same. Bro, if you have but a – Yeah. Is he the blame? In the, I say stay away from him. And that don't mean he's the blame. You can blame the organization. You can blame the team. How? 2019, he had a tremendous year. Then the next yeah, year he comes so back, right, he's not healthy. Then the next year he comes back, he's not healthy. That's not the team making yes, you not it, healthy. Yes, it's the team giving you 403 touches. Yeah, but you wanted it. This man so said you, But what I'm saying is, does it come back to be like, okay, we need him for the long haul. We don't need him for just this year. So we sat there and watched the game, both of us together, and we like, man, this is amazing. It's McCaffrey left, McCaffrey right, yeah. McCaffrey up the middle, McCaffrey punting, Dump McCaffrey down. kicking the field goal, yeah, McCaffrey, McCaffrey got them water boy, McCaffrey head coach, this man McCaffrey GM, <laughs> McCaffrey everything, special hey, team coach, well, everything. So, so, so what listen, the fuck? So, so, so <laughs> then you do all that. Like it's only one guy. It's McCaffrey, 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 McCaffrey. Four hundred and three touches. Two two thousand three hundred ninety two yards, nineteen scrimmage yards in two thousand nineteen. No, I mean nineteen touchdowns, nineteen scrimmage touchdowns in two thousand nineteen. What do you have in two thousand? In the last in the last two oh. years after that. Oh, so you're saying tw 20, 20, 20, 20, 2021 and twenty twenty two? Yes, those two, two years combined. Yes, combined. So in two thousand nineteen, he played sixteen games. Right. In 2020 and 2021, two seasons, he only played in 10 games. Two years. That's average five games a year. Out of the 17 games yes, schedule? He had 403 touches in one year. He come back in the next two years, only 212 touches. So he averaged 100 touches a year after that. With 1100 five within, Yeah, five games a year. 10 and games, 1,100 yards. 1, yards, and eight touchdowns. In two years. Wait, eleven hundred. Wait, wait, wait. Two hundred total touches, eleven hundred yards, and five or eight touchdowns. You said eight. Eight touchdowns, touchdowns. in, in two, two years. years. Damn. McCaffrey, a hometown boy. He from he's from my city too. So. I understand that, but it's just like okay. No, so do you draft that? No, so you can't. Do so you I draft get why that you, in the first round? No, but there's some. But they still is going to draft yeah, him in the first round. But I'm telling them right now. Oh, okay. He said. I'm saying I'm McCaffrey's them, healthy. Man. I'm saying Saquon's healthy. They're back. Saquon. So, do you draft McCaffrey. him? So, okay. So, do you They're draft Sa Saquon? My bad. Saquon. Do you draft Saquon 
I'm a Caffrey over Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Nick Chubb. You said some names there. Even playoff Lenny. I'd rather get the 260 playoff Lenny Fournette they talking about down there in Tampa. But I'm saying, do you draft them? Oh, no, I'm not. Do really, you draft them guys over them? No, I'm because, man, I done seen some polls, and McCaffrey is one or two. Yeah, nah. In, pre, in, in preseason fantasy drafts. So answer me this, because I'm not all the way – I'm not familiar. Is it a receiver or a running back that normally gets drafted first? Running back. If you know fantasy, you got to go running, running back, back first. Okay. So you're going to draft Keith Because you Henry know the first. running back is going to touch the ball at least 20 times a game. I like Nick Your receiver well, might get five, six, seven catches. With Davis, I mean, if Deshaun Watson was down there in Cleveland starting off the season, I would love Nick Chubb then. I would love that. I hear what you say. I would love Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb going to be Nick Chubb. Because they also got Amari Cooper yeah. out there now. Boy, they got some. They got some weapons. I know what you're saying, but and Nick Chubb in the fourth quarter is probably the hardest yeah, running running back in the league. I but I hear what you're saying. So stay away from McCaffrey. Stay away from Saquon. Um, draft King Henry. Okay, so draft. You got to give me one more. Then you say two. Stay away from us. who's another. If I, gave I can't, two stay away no. If from I can't us. get King Henry first, who else do I need to draft in the second? Dalvin Cook. Dalvin over Our Nick Chubb. Chubb. Oh, okay, okay. I like Dalvin. I go Dalvin. Because Dalvin does catch the ball a lot more. Okay. Man, Dalvin a dog, man. All right, man. That's 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 interesting. All right, so man, fuck all that. Fatty. So since you no, 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 but no, wait, no, wait, wait, no, 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 you bro. saying all them names and you asking that? Where does Devontae saying? No. Oh, okay. Where does Zeke rank? Zeke, Zeke's healthy, and he got Prescott. Where does he? I didn't ask all I'm that. Where do go he rank? Three behind Chubb. It goes. It'll go. King Henry. Hold on, wait, wait. Give me your top five bats right now. I don't, bro. I, bro. What you mean? Me, number one. Cause I no, uh, active. Oh, okay. I ain't, I ain't still me. I am still ain't retired. I never signed papers. I'm out here. Hey. <laughs> and I run a faux faux. I ain't never had a combine, so you don't know the truth. But look, <laughs> this man's a hater still. My top five running backs right now. I'm going to go King Henry for sure because, man, and what he did in, the, in nine games – or, yeah, I think it was nine games he destroyed last year. I'm going to go Nick Chubb because I've never seen somebody run so violent in the fourth quarter. Um, see, that's when it starts getting weird. I, I like Zeke for sure. Like Zeke, number three? Love Zeke. I love Zeke. I love Zeke. Um, I like Dalvin Cook for sure. Dalvin is four? Yeah, I put Dalvin fourth. Um, and then I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I'm probably going to say somebody like um, Eckler, Austin Eckler. He makes plays. That man led the league in touchdowns last year as a running back, bro. What you want me to do? Yes. Jonathan Taylor. I mean, had a yeah, good, not, but see, listen. No, no, no. All right, this is the how we gonna end this. Was that Jonathan Taylor's rookie season last year? No, that was his second year. But he start. That was his first season starting, right? Okay. Who started the year before? Um, I don't know, but who? Help us out. Nah, they were back and forth. They were back and forth. Yeah. But but when when he got his first full season as a starter, that's what he did, right? Cool. I'm going to play devil's advocate or less 220. I got to see what he does this year before I put him up there with these guys. Right. One year is amazing. Saquon had a great one year. You just said yeah. even McCaffrey had a great one year. But what are you going to – how are you going to – bro, I played in a league where I played against like Adrian Peterson, Marshawn Lynch, yourself. Bro, where it was – when you looked across from you, these motherfuckers had six, seven straight yards, thousand yard seasons. So, like – you telling me no, if somebody had a me. thousand yards? Out of them names, probably only me. Well, you you definitely yeah, had you six had straight. six straight thousands ain't with a two K in, in yeah. there. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, I'm gonna try to drop a bar real quick. Crazy man, <laughs> crazy <laughs> Looney Tune. <man>. Hey, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, them was the running backs I was used to seeing. But see, I think what happened was we got into, um. We got so used to seeing, I guess, in y'all's era of 2,000 or 2Ks that they thought that that shit was normal. 
people forget that 1,300, 1,200 yards in a season is a really good season, man. Great I season. think that, you know, that we, we've, we've got a little abnormal to what we think in a great season is, man. It used to be 66 yards a game is what they wanted because if you got 66 yards a game, you always your 1,000-yard season. You and AP came out there and started going 2K, and I guess motherfuckers thought that that was just a normal thing. But that's even – that's good because smash, I mean dash. Uh, no, I am dash. I was the faster one. So, look. I got some questions I want to ask you, bro. You know, <laughs> what the hell, bro? What's so damn funny, bro? This is some smash, some smash or dash. Smash, all right. So listen, so what you want to do, if you if you smashing, you're going to take a shot, or if you dash, you take a shot? What you want to do? If I dash. If you dash. All right. Strippers with missing teeth, what would you do? Mm -hmm. All right, now she look like Bernice. She look like Bernice. She look like Bernice. She look like Cardi B. Got a missing tooth front one though. She front. like blue face girlfriend. Oh man. You smash hey, you smashing or you dashing? I'm, I'm, sma I'm, I'm smashing. smashing. All right, I'm I'll smashing. call that. I'll I'm smash. Smashing. I'm I'm smashing. Smashing. I'll smash. That was it's just easy. a smash though. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you hey, ain't gotta do nothing else. I'm just smashing. Yeah, I'm smash. I'm sma I'll call that. I smash. I smash. Good mm -hmm. shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Best friend, sister. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't act. Oh, the man got all the sense in the world, y'all. Now, when it's time to answer smash or dash, the man act like he don't understand read English. Read it again. Read it again. Read it all again. All right, cool, because it's hard to understand, y'all. <laughs> best friend's sister. <laughs> Your best friend's sister. Are you smashing her or are you going to dash on her? I'm dashing. That's us. I'm dashing. So I gotta take a shot on dash. Yeah, you gotta take a shot. Put me I'm gonna pull you up. Hold on, hold on. Here, you want it all the way to the? Nah, I ain't gonna kill nah, you. Don't yeah, kill I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Hey, he can't buff either. There's a juice rule. There's a rule in the juice. That shit got corn. You better drink it. Look, get make that face. Yeah, tighten up. Now back to Delhi. Best friend, sister, I'm smashing it. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't. You should have kept her away from me. Bro, listen, you gotta be, if your best friend, sister wanna hit me, clearly I've been around for a long time, so she, she probably know what's going on. Like, what you want me to do? Like, not give her the best time of her life? I probably could make, you know what I mean? You'll and you, bad. you my best friend, but I got other best friends. Ain't now, got no sisters. Now, that's what I'm saying. I can't hit your best friend, your sister. But so you like, will? If you had a sister? Yeah. Yeah, she'll probably get smashed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro, enough of that. You're going to get a nigga oh, in trouble God. with this shit, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. One last time. Oh, this is a good one. The five second rule when eating butt. No, I'm just playing <laughs> with <laughs> Oh, no, that's a good one. Hey, you, hey, you ever ate butt? See what That's I'm saying? That, I'm asking that now. What That's you mean? Not a question, you smash man. a dash, huh? That ain't the question. Hey, have you ever ate butt? It's <laughs> right here. That's the question. Let me see. Let me I'm see. Not, I'm asking. I'm <laughs> no. doing the questions. <laughs> let me see. Oh, man, oh my God. Bro, but I answer, answer your question if you want to answer a question, but let me, if right, it's not right, on the, the five question. second rule. That's what they say. <laughs> That's like something drop, you know, if something drop on the flow, I'm smashing some shit at the uh, it also is that after five seconds or before? Before five seconds, I'm smashing it. After five seconds, depending on who's seen that shit, Phil, I'm still smashing it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but I ain't got time to be playing goddamn I'm who. I'm smashing. I'm smashing. Okay, okay. Okay, now, 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 back to the original first question, because that was on the, right here on the bottom left-hand corner. It says, have you ever ate butt? <laughs> you smashing or you dash? <laughs> I'm smashing. <laughs> I'm dashing, give him a shot, bro. Pull up. <laughs> Boy, cow. Pull me he up, bro. <laughs> he cow. He cow. I'm going to pull you up, though. <laughs> I'm dashing. I ain't. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. It's been real knowing you, boy. I ain't got time. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, my man. 
I gotta keep it real, bro. This right, is some of the funniest shit I've ever done. Yeah, man. This is a great real. time with you, bro. It was real, man. I'm definitely gonna be seeing you here shortly, man. We gotta run this shit back again. Yeah, man, we're gonna get it in, man. It was a good show. Nice seeing you, man. Nice always talking to you, Dash, Smash, whatever you wanna call yourself. I just know I can't drink after you now, man. <laughs> this shit litty, baby. We live.